Welcome back to JSA TV Live, the newsroom for telecom and data centers. I'm Keely Dorian coming to you live from the floor of the Venetian of the Channel Partners Expo, where we're having a great time so far. And we've grabbed our next interview for the afternoon here. We've got Ian McClarty, president of Phoenix Snap. Thanks so much for being here and taking a few minutes to talk with us. Oh, thank you, Kelly. I appreciate the invite. Yeah. So before we dive in here, you guys have some really cool things that are going on. Can you just tell us a little bit about Phoenix Snap and what you do? Yeah, so Phoenix Snap is a bare metal cloud infrastructure company. Uh, we also do data center services out of the Phoenix metro region. We actually started doing uh, metro e Ethernet connects and, uh, and high density co-location in the metro. Uh, today we're going to expand that to a campus. So we have about 200,000 square feet. We're looking at about 530,000 square feet expansion that we're going to be doing in the next uh, year. Um, but uh, our growth really has been around bare metal cloud as, uh, globally as we scale that out. Yeah, let's talk about bare metal cloud. It's definitely one of the terms that's picking up steam in yes. the industry. So for people who just aren't as familiar with it, can you just explain bare metal cloud and how that helps to advance networks? Yes. So for us, it's, it's been it's been an evolution of products. Uh, we've been doing the dedicated server market since uh, the 1990s, actually. That's in 1998. Um, but uh, as, as we uh, started Phoenix Snap, we wanted to make sure that we focus on automation, orchestration, made it very easy and self, more self-service. When we uh, started Bare Metal Cloud, we took a different approach. We said, all this work that we've done on, on automation orchestration is great, but we really want to focus on API. Uh, now we, we're dealing with a very software developer focused audience. We want to make sure that we target that appropriately and, and meet around their needs. And so API first approach was number one for Bare Metal Cloud. Even though it's very dedicated infrastructure you get, it feels very much like a cloud-like environment. It's all OPEX, it's easy to launch. You can get dedicated infrastructure in a matter of a minute. So it's a very easy consumption model. Yeah. How do you see bare metal cloud fitting into the future of infrastructure, especially as we're talking about edge more and more yeah. and latency is just a huge demand right now yeah. for low latency? Yeah, so I, we actually took that into, into consideration when we architected bare metal cloud. Um, as a matter of fact, uh, we work with American Tower. Uh, we have launched our first uh, cell tower location. So that's, re that's true edge. You're talking about like cell towers in the middle of, uh, of anywhere in the country. Uh, and we, have, we are going to launch our second one in Denver with them. Um, and so we have taken an approach up to Bare Metal Cloud to make it very portable uh, because we also know that um, there are maybe industries that may need even closer proximity where even edge compute to them means having an on more on-prem, say your large manufacturing shops, and you like what we do from a, from a performance perspective and you like the interface, but you want to maybe want to have it on-prem. So the system was, made, was built to be portable. Yeah, it's it's such fascinating stuff, and you're you're doing such great work with folks like American Tower, and you're also doing some other things. I'm going to switch gears on, yeah, on yeah, you no now just a little bit yeah. and talk about your work with Crown Castle yeah. because you had a recently a big announcement with Crown we Castle did, for yes. your flagship data center. Congrats! Yes. And Thank you. Yeah, tell me about that. Yeah, so uh, Crown Castle is is uh, getting into the into the fiber game, especially in, in the different metros that we're in, and uh, it was a good partnership. Uh, they uh, they are putting a, a very strong fiber presence in our facility. That is one thing that we pride ourselves is, inner, is to be net neutral and also to have very heavy fiber dense networks uh, servicing the, the facility. Today we have over 40 networks that are distinct, uh, plus all, all three hyperscalers that are built out. That's really wonderful news. So you've given us some sneak peeks. Anything else that you can let us know that's on the horizon for Phoenix Nap? Uh, yes. Uh, so we are uh, right now, we, we, uh, we've recently, very recently just launched uh, more uh, functionality with environmental cloud itself. Uh, now we have uh, full network constructs. So people that are very used to very advanced network users can now do inside Bare Metal Cloud what they're used to doing inside of the router or inside a firewall or a switch. Uh, we, have, we have enabled that with a partner called Netris. Uh, and that has really, that was really uh, one piece that we're missing from a, from a um, cohesive environment for functionality. Now we are very, uh, I would say that from a functionality perspective, we're on parity with, with uh, anybody in the market that is even a hyperscaler. So we have, we have a really, um, exploded the, the the ability to orchestrate in the, in the platform. Yeah, You're doing such great things, and I can't wait to see what's next for you guys and to watch all of these yeah. projects come to fruition. I appreciate so. that. And I do have a couple more tidbits, if, if you don't mind. Just Not at all, quick ones. Yeah. So we are also looking at launching uh, London this year. That's another one that we're looking at, uh, launch, and that's from customer demand. So wow. we're very excited about that. Uh, that'll be our uh, third uh, presence in Europe that we have for Bare Metal Cloud itself. Wow. So we're looking forward to that uh, deployment. 
Yeah, good thing you remember. That's a big one. <laughs> That's a big one. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. Where can we go to learn more about everything that you've got going on and to see how you could potentially help new folks? Yeah, so uh, the, the name is Phoenix Nap, uh, and that's nap.com. Uh, also, if it just a shorter one, pnap.com. Also, we also, uh, we also have that. That will uh, refresh you to the to the main phoenixnap.com website. Very good. Thank you so much for all of the great detail thank you. and for all of the wonderful work that you're and doing. And thank you for the invite. Much appreciated. Absolutely. You have we a great day. Stopping by. Thanks so much. Thanks to our viewers for watching and thank happy you. networking.